Well, hey guys, my name is Ed, and welcome to another one of those GoPro adventures I go on to every once in a while, looking for toys, looking for vintage video games, and let's get started. Right off the bat, we walk into a G.I. Joe Reliant. Oh, damn, this thing is big. It's not in great condition. Some parts are broken off. It's missing pieces, and it's over at my buddy's boot, actually. They're still setting up. Um, well, even though the G.I. Joe Reliant is missing a lot of pieces, it's still way out of my price range, and I probably won't even be able to fit it in anywhere over here, so I'm not gonna go for that right now. So yeah, it's still really cool to see a big toy like that, but, uh, I, I don't really have any interest in buying this one. Uh, I already check out what they have in their boxes, my friends, uh, Kuhn and Leslie. I see some Jurassic Park books, a Dungeons and Dragons game, but I think we're gonna come back a little later when they're really set up. Ooh, some random bags of gaming items and a multi-tab. I've never seen this before. So yeah, I, I've never seen a multi-tab before, so I'm like, how much do you need for this? And his price is 35 euros. I don't know if that's a good price on this, but uh, anyways, I'm determined on talking him down, and I'm like, you know, 25. We settle on 30 euros, which seems cool, cool to me because I never see it. It is the Super Famicom one, so there might be some issues with getting it to work on a PAL system. There's some extra resistors in the SNES PAL controllers, so I don't know if this like thing you put in between your controllers is gonna need that or not gonna function, but you know, we'll get somebody to iron something on there and it'll probably work. Uh, and in, come, in they come with another box of stuff, and there's actually a better looking multi tab in there. So, yeah, this one isn't sun faded or it doesn't have like the yellowing, but it's the uh, what is that? What is it called again? So, it's the Hudson Soft Super Famicom multi tab, which allows you to play up to five players in games like Bomberman and stuff like that. It does have a shorter um, piece of string, the Super Famicom version, but yeah, you never see this, and it's Hudson Soft, so it's always a pretty cool item to get. Anyways, pay 30 for this. I'm quite glad I, I picked it up, because I never see it. And there's like a ton of other Japanese stuff, but you know, we're moving on, we're gonna see what the next big thing is we're gonna come across. And man, there's so many cool Masters of the Universe knockoff toys, maybe I should get me some. Alright, next up we hit a table. I see something Pokemon related, so I go for the Pokemon box, but my buddy grabs right next to it a Transformer box. Crap! I should have gotten that. It's for a Dinobot, and it's only the box with the manual, but he's selling it. And, and he's selling it for 15 euros, so if you have like a slag, if you have a Dinobot slag, you can just pop him in there and have a boxed one. The box isn't in best condition, but 15 euros for these Transformer boxes isn't much, so maybe I, I shouldn't try catching Pokemon all the time. Anyways, my buddy got that. Uh, the Pokemon thing they were asking 50 euros for, I don't know if that's the price. I mean, it was in good condition, but it's it's basically a, it's basically a Tamagotchi for Pokemon, so I don't know. It, it didn't really interest me that much. Damn, this lady's got a lot of G.I. Joe stuff. My friend is looking at a couple of these. He actually picks up a couple G.I. Joes he's missing because he's going for all of the G.I. Joes to pop in one of his displays. It's crazy. You should check out his his Instagram page. He's got a wicked collection. It's, it's called Stockman's Collection. I'll have links on the video and down below so you can check it out. I ain't flying, you fool. <coughs> I actually hurt my throat. Next to the G.I. Joes, my friend also picks up a Battle Cat, complete with the armor stuff. Damn, pretty cool. I should have gotten that Battle Cat. Not the mama.
Then we come across another box filled with some retro games. There's not really anything I need in here. Majora's Mask is probably the best one in here. It is boxed, but it's 65 euros. It's an okay price, but I already have the game, so... Not the mama. It's not too cheap that I can, you know, buy it and trade it off with a profit for something I really want. You're gonna see us coming back to certain booths as they're setting up because, you know, we want to see all the items they have. And usually when they have one good item, they're gonna have multiple good items. And we head back to the ladies' boot who had all the G.I. Joe stuff and the Battle Cat. And what do you know? Another Battle Cat. So I grabbed that one. I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know if my Battle Cat right back at home has the... Uh, has the belt. Um, so I'm picking this up to upgrade it. It was 12 euros, so that was a really good price on this one. So yeah, it's this one. It was 12 euros. They marked it at 15 first, but you know, you gotta do a little bit of haggling. This one has the belt system on it. It's got the hood thing. The hood could have been in better condition, but overall, this Battle Cat is in pretty darn nice condition. Yeah, let me just pop him right here. Okay, and this lady who was selling this, she had so much good stuff. I should have bought so much more over at her boot, but you know, you're you're walking around, you're trying to find the next big thing, the next big thing before your buddy finds it, or you know, ooh, a Serpentor in the box. Now this is pretty cool, but it's got the GI Joe point thing cut out in the back. Mm, not not sure about this, but I really like Serpentor, so ah, I don't know. You really have to look in every nook and every cranny over here. If you see a box with a box below, you dig in and you see, uh, I don't know what this toy is, but moving on. There's some games over here and Super Mario Brothers 3 bins. Oh, but they're new crap. Yeah, and don't really do too much new stuff, but this looked kind of vintage at first. Could have been cool. So, Coon and Leslie, Shredder88 and Leslie are set up. You can find those guys on Instagram too. They're set up, so let the negotiations begin. What do I find over here? First up, I see a Stegosaurus with the little meat in place. And, of course, I'm going to grab that. He's asking 10 euros for this. I only really need the meat thingy, but I'll just get another Stegosaurus and, you know, make a herd of Stegosaurus. It's just, it's just, or something like that um he does have some issues like his foot is kind of mushed maybe i can fix that i'm not sure about it but we'll we're gonna try and he's got some battle beasts actually so i have to check my phone because a buddy of mine is gonna send me a couple of battle beasts so i don't buy doubles i also see beast from the x-men toy biz toy line which i don't have yet kun is selling that one for three euros to me that's amazing so that's going on my definite pile for sure uh i get some of the battle beasts in here too there's two i don't have or aren't incoming so i'm gonna grab those because they're only five each so i think my pile ends up being around 20 euros in total or something 23 is what i paid for this now let's show that to you guys so let's first grab these little guys over here these are the two battle beasts i got from hasbro takara this one looks like a kind of wolf kind of guy thingy and this is just a creepazoid of some sorts uh <laughs> the here the thingy is missing on it and this one still actually has it the uh the sticker thingy on there so two battle beasts for the collection pretty nice ad i'm actually finding a lot of battle beasts ever since i started getting them then from battle beasts we go over to beast from the toy biz toy line uh one of the main characters in the cartoon series <laughs> I don't know what that thing does, I should probably look it up, but yeah, he's going into the collection because I really wanted this guy. He also has like magnets or stuff underneath his feet, I don't know what that's about. I still need to do a little bit more research on that, so I don't know, can he fit on Battle Cat? Not really, let's just pop in here because I don't want to break him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the first purchase I got was this Stegosaurus who has something wrong over here on his foot. As you can see, it's smushed together. Maybe I can, you know, put it back into place and put like some 
some clippers on it so it will stay like that. It, you usually don't find the Stegosauruses or any of those first toy line, uh, Jurassic Park toy line big figurines with the meaty piece in there. This one is actually in really nice condition. The colors are still very bright. Usually they get dirty a lot. Like over here you can see a little bit of dirt. But yeah, cool Stegosaurus and is going into the collection. I'll probably, you know, upgrade the one that can actually stand up uh, with the meaty part. But, you know, it was still cool to get this one to add. Uh, where am I going to put you? Where, where am I going to put you? There we go. That works. Uh, there was also like a small soldier panini sticker book over there, but I don't know. I didn't actually ask the price. I didn't actually ask the price on it. So maybe next time I should ask it to Kuhn. Um, and then, uh, and then I start putting stuff in the bag and I <laughs> head down. <laughs> so then I start putting all this stuff into my bag. So I, I, I go and kneel down on the floor and I'm hit with a Shira lot. <laughs> <laughs> I never see Shira, so Shira is actually a spin-off from the Masters of the Universe line. They thought, hey, for girls we need some of these, you know, Barbie dolls, but you know, they can still be He-Man related. So they made like these really big swan type of uh, vehicle figurines like Battle Cat, and you have just more clothing around the dolls and stuff, and you know, they have swords and stuff, so it's still sci-fi sorcery stuff, which is... This is Princess Adora, sister of He-Man and her gentle horse. Each sold separately, you can pretend. She's lovely as a flower, but she has a secret power. The magic sword in one stroke, and she's got the strength of a tower. She broke Princess of Power. The fate of the world in the hands of one beautiful girl. Princess of Power. she doll Princess of Power comes with everything you see here. Swift Wind Horse sold separately, new from Mattel you know fantasy stuff it's pretty cool to see this not something i would want to get a whole lot off i don't know what he's asking on this on this but it's pretty cool to see it so when i see it out in the wild and it's you know going for pennies i'll probably pick it up then next up we see that the guy with all the japanese stuff where he got the multi-tap from is set up this looks kind of cool i mean there's a super scope boxed super famicom edition there's a lot of famicom stuff out here lots of import stuff there's even some good snes titles over here like ogre battle that's one i've been wanting for the longest time it is an rpg so you know you can probably get this snes famicom cart really cheap but you will still need to download a patch in order to play it so i'm gonna wait out for a pal version or a what is it, NTSC version to get Ogre Battle, but still cool to see all this stuff. So now we're digging around in the next tub, and the reason why we're digging around in here is because it's five each. Every toy in here is just five euros. And you know, it's hit or miss, there's gonna be some stuff in there worth a lot more, there's gonna be some stuff in here worth less, but the guy doesn't care, he's just trying to get rid of this stuff, asking five euros a pop. So I grab a couple of these Master of the Universe ripoff toys, I think they're Galaxy Warriors or something, and they're actually standing up, that's pretty neat, I didn't think they would stand up this... This is great, so I have no idea or clue what the names are for these guys over here let's just call this one freddie mercury mustache man then we got the red dead redemption astronaut nigger we got the wolfman schwarzenegger edition then we have the roman gladiator from the black lagoon so yeah that's uh that's that so pretty cool figurines actually uh, quite they're they're they don't have like the, the the slingy action or anything but they're you know sturdy they're they're not I didn't expect them to be this good quality and they're actually quite heavy um so yeah galaxy warriors i think is what these toys are called uh so i go and pay for these i end up getting them for 15 all of them so he threw in one for free really and then uh, i look out of the corner of my eye there's a box of games over here i check out the games there's nothing in here for me but what do i see on the table a donkey kong gamecube conga set in the box now the guy says this doesn't have the game or anything but i'm like well you know I, I i think i probably have the game i know i have two of them i don't know how many there are so if i i don't have the game yet i'll probably pick it up and i i can add it over here to this nice boxed copy it does have a couple of things torn out of the front 
but still it's very cool to have this accessory um so in case you don't know what they look like these are the dk congas you pretty much hook them up to your gamecube system and then it's kind of like guitar hero but with congas so you hit the, the congas and uh yeah you you make music with them you know so that's kind of what that is so the price on the dk conga pack was 30 originally without the game so i'm telling you, yeah but it doesn't have the game so he goes over to 25 euros i tell him you know i got 20 with me i'll pay you 20 for this set which is pretty good great and next up we're walking around i see a turtle plushie underneath a table you can't really see it through the gopro footage but what else do i pull out from under this table is a boxed TMNT figure I don't have yet, so I really need to grab this right now. Yeah, they're asking 25, of course I haggle him down to 20, he goes for it. I also see Ray Filet, the, the toy, I don't have like the side character, that's why I was interested in, in it, but it was 10 euros, I'm not gonna do that. But I am getting the vehicle, and the vehicle I got right over here is a or two so a french side and a english side teenage mutant hero turtles or ninja turtles no hero and this says talk to ninja uh mutations muta bike so this thing can turn into a helicopter kind of thing which is still freaking cool it didn't come with the inlay unfortunately but hey it did come with all the accessories they're stacked over there um so over here I have all the little accessories that you can still add to it and this is kind of like the bike it's kind of like a transformer uh, where you can you know pull out certain stuff and open up different parts and then it turns into like this airplane kind of thing where it turns into this airplane kind of thing and then you know he's you know hanging underneath chilling over here this that's his seat and this kind of spins around as a helicopter thing so yeah pretty inventive I guess <laughs> pretty inventive it looks kind of quirky it looks kind of weird uh, they also they, they usually put like really weird stuff on the box but um, what did they did they pop any funny stuff on the box or anything mutates from dirt bike to gonzo glider red road wheels mutate to become wild well wild wind wings Exhaust pipe mutates into a proton propeller. Pizza launcher turtle toaster. And it's got a pizza launcher turtle toaster on the back over here. So yeah, that's that little bike thingy we got over here. Yeah, let's go. there you have that thing with all the little accessories. Pretty cool. Couldn't be happier. And I was kind of like just holding this thing being like, oh cool. I finally found one of these over at a over at one of these collectors get together things okay so next up we see some gremlins from NECA this is the brain gremlin he looks kind of cool they were asking 60 on it but I didn't know any prices now 60 is what it goes for but it does come with the box and he's in pretty good condition so uh, if if the guy has it next time I see his boot I'll probably pick it up because damn Gremlins and NECA toys are cool. This is from like 1997 and they were already producing great NECA toys. Alright, uh, next up I see some controllers. Controllers are always good to pick up because they hold a big value. People always need new controllers because they're breaking them. And uh, yeah, this is a GameCube controller but some of the knobs are kind of broken. Oh, and over here we got a sludge. That's pretty nice. Maybe my buddy can pick it up for his sludge box. Or did he get slag? I, I forgot which one he got. <laughs> but anyways, there's some other cool stuff over here at the collector thing. But I'm kind of preoccupied with just looking at my turtle thing I got. Because, well, I'm a turtle geek. That's what I like to collect for most. I do like all the other items I got over here. So we kind of just go home. We hit up another flea market where we didn't find too much stuff. But like I always say, dig around in boxes and you never know what you're going to find. And I was digging around in boxes. I saw this little sewer shield thingy I knew. Hey, that's turtle. So I found Rocksteady or Bebop's gun. I found his knife, another shield, and then we got Donnie's bow staff and one of these things. I don't know what they're called. They're kind of funny things. So yeah, that was like 50 cents for like six accessories. For your turtle toys so six weapons for your turtle toys 
you can't beat that for 50 cents so awesome awesome haul thanks so much for watching if you're new to the channel please hit this <laughs> please hit the subscribe button if you're into retro games current nintendo gen games or vintage toys because i like talking about that stuff and i go out hunting every week so hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below and leave a thumbs up i will see you in the next video which is next monday see you later guys bye mm -hmm.